<clears throat> Hatred. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately, to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just in general. For an example, Reverse Flash. I mean, yo, this man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching or hell eating. Then obviously, you know, we got your D.O.'s, your Freezers, your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that nigga smell? And yo, you even got your scars. Ah, Scar, please help me. What the fuck, pull me up. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, this, this dude's videos are pretty entertaining, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying, bro? The king! Adios, motherfucker! Ah! But ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Stinkman. Nah, this, this dude, this dude from the boondocks? Exhibit A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to understand the philosophy of stink meter and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. So they start to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got off the set of A New Hope. And once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Freeze! Tough. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, Stinkmeter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. <laughs> Man, this some old bush. At age 15, Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he didn't care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. So doctors only gave him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. Also just sh sing giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is bro is basically a Sith Lord. The hatred drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima in Atlanta. Oh. Not giving a care in the world, Jesus Christ. It's like truck who done possessed this man. Wait a minute. As I'm now Bro, this about dude stink made it with hell gave this old blind nigga a driver's oh, license. For real Whoever though. issue this sh you should be ashamed of yourself. Now nah. as see what happened is he he went he he just he bullied the person into giving them giving them that's what I think happened personally, you know what I'm saying? He just he just bullied the person so hard that they, they had no other option but to give him a driver's license, you know what I'm saying, bro? You see this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least fifty and he starts bagging in the gray ass car! Like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. This is handicapped. So this man gets out of his car and he's like, Who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1 800 collecting ass whooping, partner. So Granddad says, Yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that, nigga? And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. So Huey says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink me and are like, oh, I'll be doing them a favor. <laughs> he ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Nigga, you better have insurance. <laughs> Ass whooping insurance, because you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, bro, granddad can back can up, bro? Can you back up, bro? You might just the slide. Oh, dude, I'll, I'll bug out, bro. If you yell about my face like that, you spit, in my, uh, I'll tweak on Gat on tweak. I, I could have been hold, like, the, on Gat, the Nick would, would be at an all-time high, bro. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle it, or B, fight with an old crazy blind man. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So <laughs> Steve Meaner just start pressing him. He just start spitting in his face. He like, what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, 
bitch ass, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. You gonna do something about it? All right, this is not getting my dice. <laughs> and then Stink Meaner ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to another man. Hold up, I smell new shoes. This bitch is a Oh, hell no. Nah, bro, this is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. And nah, nah, if you replay it back, look how he stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole he leg it back. at that hoe at a 90 degree angle and went, yeah. Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he like, yeah, they ain't new anymore, are they? Yeah, God. So then this was the final straw that made Granddad tick. So Granddad swing at him, but he <laughs> dodges it, and he's like, ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your Yo, ass Yo, imagine beat. losing to a blind So he had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, it's over. So dude. later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, no everybody gosh. just start making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind nigga? Then later that night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, look on the news and he like, It's just that a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City calling him a piñata. So then the phone started ringing and guess who left a voicemail? <laughs> Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So, you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? Don't you walk away from this answer machine. So, it got so bad to the point that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meaner, and challenged him to a fight. So, Granddad started training thinking he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate or something. So, now it's the night of the fight, and it is Riley out here overcharging for $10. So, they start Versus Andrew Tate, who's going? Who's going, bro? <laughs> who's pre ordered that? Who's oh, who's buying a pay per view, bro? <laughs> I know what, hey, me, <laughs> me, yo, squaring up and stink meaner, like, yeah, so you throw money away, you scared, ain't you, bitch, nipple, yeah, yes. I can spit up, <laughs> try it off for you, <laughs> that's vintage. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god. This ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, Granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Granddad started whooping that ass. Bro, I gave him a short you gun. Hey, good. And started kicking up like hard rain. And then Granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Fatality. And he didn't knock, just knock, knock him all four out. Out, bro. killed him. Oh. All because he got trapped that. in a nigga moment. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, that. and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, The Return. So as we know, Stink Meaner died, but little did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro, is Brushing washing the air. demon. Bro, and day, even bro. the devil said, he's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. I can, this man got the devil to dream. acknowledge bro, you that see he's it, the bro. baddest what, what you mean, he's ever seen. It's right there. That is the most legendary feat of all time. He it's even tripping. called the devil a bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. So the devil's like, Cuddle H. Stink Meter. I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Stink Meter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a nigga moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you 
sneak a poop. You, you can't do that. Hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I had my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turned around and just start cussing him out. He like, F you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass, nigga. I'll beat your motherfuckers to diddy ass, nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was a perfect time for Stink Meaner to make his move. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Who this man told WWE oh, trapped against this gosh. And he's like, oh yeah, look at ya. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in your chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. Oh, oh my God, I am so sorry. Uh, so, so, somebody call an ambulance, hey, help! Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So this man, Stink Meaner, got him acting up in the courtroom. Bro got up in there and said, F your court, nigga! <laughs> then later on, bro goes home to Tom's wife, and he's like, oh yeah, I wanna beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife's cheeks up. Oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl doonies. Nah, but it's crazy. So yeah, then later on, Stink Meaner pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. So Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, I'm back. Like, yo, what in The Shining is going on right now? I'm so about to say, shout out to Shining. Shout out to The Shining. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package oh, bro, is a Do not watch The Boondocks on HBO, bro. I was watching this on HBO, bro. I'm seeing granddad's dilly dongy whopping, whipping on. I've seen this episode, bro. Dudes straight up booty butt cheek naked, bro. I'm like, yo, am I, why am I? Is, is this soft core? Is, is, why, 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 why is granddad's ding dong just flopping everywhere, bro? What the fuck? Animated too. I'm, I'm mad confused, bro. Somebody walk in the room, they think I'm, 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 I'm watching some weird shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mad confused. Hanging out. So Steve Miller saying, you don't remember me? You don't remember my name? What's my name, nigga? What's my name, Robert? What's my name? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap, and this man stink me to go crazy. Bro, body Huey smack Riley around, and he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. Oh. And he like, is that all y'all got? Yeah. Look at this backhand to Huey. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down, and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained on this bed, and Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Stink me to wake up, and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. You weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic Church to exorcise this man. So there that was, was only just one a... man that could save the brother. Day. Brother, wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just brother. a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic. Is that Washington D.C. or is that that? There's no way that's no. That has nothing to do with religion, bro. That is, that is like a principal building or something, bro. What the fuck? That looks like like the like like the capital of somewhere, bro. Church to exercise this oh, man, nah, so dead. there was only one man that could save the day. Man, God bless you, Robert. Oh, I came as nah. fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of. Shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God Himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get oh, demonetized. Oh, the yeah, brother you know will make excuses. If he get desperate, that brother I may try, try to get demonetized. Oh yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. <laughs> so they get up in this room and Ruckus pulls Bro, out the Bible and credit. says, "Read the read." Oh. Well, then they start beating this man on the bed and saying so. Phrase is that I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. 
But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising his spirit how much and sending he hates him back down to brothers. Him. Exhibit C. Oh, he comes back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Return the return. To you exhibit C. Oh, my the gosh. The hateocracy. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the hateocracy. A Bro. group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting this of arc? Colonel H. Stink in Meter, the Lord Lucas Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gripe Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all His met in a retirement Mr. home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4, B4. Bingo, nigga. Now what the f I win? Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop them because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stink Meaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh hell no, what the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for, the Curious George exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert Freeman. Oh hell no, y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then, good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. Breaking news, a man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something, them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, yeah. Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing obviously something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, oh, no, no, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she be I this animation was elite for his time oh, in the uh, Fun fact, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with, but she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely body here. Don Riley got his shit. Well, that shit was so smooth, hey, at least Huey put up a fight. But they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing, but he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir, do you know a man by Stink Meter? Oh, wait, you already should because you killed him. Robert Freeman! <laughs> so bruh start swinging this. I don't even know what that is. So Robert start getting to step, but dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing, but Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh, Lord. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a bodyguard. So the hateocracy ended up pulling up to their house. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown, but he low-key start working him. Oh, my God! Look how he beat old girl, beat the wig off that bitch. Then he went, boom! Then he hit him with the finish. Oh, God! Nah, bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. But I say was, cause uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Bro, this caught that man lacking. Oh my God. <clears throat> you know, you gotta censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't wanna make Mama Susan mad now, do you? <laughs> so granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your pardon? Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? No, no, bro. 
This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No, they literally came and did all this. All for shits and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the state meaner saga finally came to an end. They gotta run that shit back on the line. Psych! Exhibit D. Is that D? Okay, yo, I gotta go back and watch this. They go a lot. I keep getting surprised. I mean, but like, I remember after I see, but like, I'm like, bro, there's more? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uncharted territory. The territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit D. Yeah, for I we, now we present to you game. the clone. So you see, Steve Meaner mm. wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steve Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Stink Meaner and it says, Dear clone me, go f with that nigga Robert. <laughs> OG Stink. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's right, I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, bruh. I ain't having this today. I'm just gonna have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's stink meter is moving. And he's like, oh yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Some Look at that headbutt. Two low throw, sidekick, boom. And people recording Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping oh, this point. Star, but no, yo, no, it wasn't back. Old. Cause later on he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember Skype, man? In <laughs> fact, does anybody even still use Skype? No. Nope. Well, anyways, stick me on the phone dead. and he like, what's good? What's you know, just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But then this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meter. So uh, I bailed him out. And now we're gonna have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised event with promotional material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side was taking over and he was slowly becoming more like Stink Meaner. So it's the night of the fight and you could obviously see the difference in him. Man's got the ball spot and everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink Meaner like, oh, I see you must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! So yeah, bro, this wasn't even a fight. Robert gave this man the most absolute beatdown of the century. But the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is, is just Robert under Stink Meter's influence. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. An old hating ass nigga. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole crowd, bro. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stink Miner, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stink Miner like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? No, nah, that's crazy. Yo, so we cut three no months way, later. Bro. And this man Stink Meter outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Meter say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, KG and the hating, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, the be little video, bro. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the original link um down in the description. All right. Uh, if you like the video, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, bro. Makes like, bro, the Boondock is such a such a beautiful show, bro. We have never seen the Boondock, bro. Go go watch it, bro. It's so excellent, bro. It, I I watch it. I laugh like almost every episode. You feel me, bro? I actual laughter. You know what I'm saying? Where you, where it comes from, like the from, from the bottom of your gut and it, it just comes out. Pause. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 when you're a kid. You know, 
very good laughter, bro. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Daddy loves you. <laughs>